Okay, good morning students. This is Sir Kai. Welcome to our IT11 tutorials. So for today, I will be discussing the basics and how we can first run your Java program. This is just a review for those who requested the first uh, thing that you need to do in order for you to run a Java program using NetBeans. Okay, so basically, you have to install NetBeans for, for NetBeans. I have installed 7.4 in my computer. You can download that to the link that I have posted in your module, by the way. So, once you open your NetBeans, once you have downloaded it, it's just easy for you to install. Make sure that you have at least a JDK uh, 1.7 or above. So, we're able to use your NetBeans. So, let's start. So just wait for the NetBeans to load. Okay. Now we have our NetBeans. This is the interface. And you have your panels, and there will be your works or workspace. So you have create to create a new project. You can control Shift N or just create a new project. Uh, select the Java it is on the Java application and type click next. For this example, you can say first program. Uh, click the browse for the folder location that you would like to save it and click finish. Just wait for the project to load. Here in your projects window, you can see the projects that I have created or you have created uh, previously, the files that you have, and the other services for the NetBeans. So, let's discuss the basic part of the NetBeans. So basically, the package is of course the name of the program itself, which is first program. You can uh, just leave it as it is. So there's comments here. These are block comment. There's a block comment also here, and there's a block comment. So the public class first program is your class name. Class first program is your class name. As you can see, first program has capital F and P, which is the same. This is your file name. This particular part is your final, first program the Java. Your class name and your file name should always be the same. Otherwise, it will have an error. Next one is your main method. This is what we call as your main method. Your main method is composed of a public static void main string arguments, which means to say that this particular method from here to here is a public method that can be accessed all throughout the program. In this particular part, you have to input the codes that you are going to do in order for you to run your particular program. So for this case, I would like to remove these comments because I want it to be simple and you want you to see the code itself. So let's create a simple method for displaying an output. For displaying an output, you have to use the method system that out that print. In close and open and close parentheses and double quotes. For example, you would say IT rocks. Now, if you're going to run your program, you may click the, the play button. Always remember that a Java statement. For this particular example, for this method for displaying output is always terminated by a semicolon. So click display button and you will see the output down below. So the output is IT rocks. So if I would like to create a new line below, I just have to put LN that will create a new line. As you can see, the build successful now uh, was placed below the IT rocks. You can also create this one slash n so you can create a new line above of your output as you can see there's a new space above it so i hope this helps please read your modules and do good practice god bless